what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? An Oregon man was arrested on Thursday after a grand jury indicted him on six charges in the shooting death of 22-year-old Barry Washington outside of a nightclub. Ian Cranston, 27, has been charged with second-degree murder, first-degree manslaughter, second-degree manslaughter, first-degree assault, and two counts of unlawful use of a deadly weapon. The fatal shooting occurred October 19th in the downtown area of Bend, a town Oregon Public Broadcasting describes as where more than 90% of the residents are white and gun violence in the downtown area is rare. According to a local report, the victim approached and complimented the killer's girlfriend. A scuffle ensued and it was broken up and some arguing started. And this dude pulled out his gun and just shot the kid. So they get into a scuffle. It looks like dude got his eye blackened. He loses the fight. They start running their mouth, going back and forth. And then he pulls out a gun and kills him. Now, it was said by witnesses that dude was calling him the N-word. And he and his girlfriend laughed over Barry's body, his dead body. He said he was calling the N-word and all this stuff. So the prosecutor, John Hummel, is trying to figure out, he says he's investigating, trying to figure out if this was a racially motivated crime. And if so, then they're going to pursue it as a hate crime, which carries a stiffer, stiffer penalty, which could automatically qualify you for the death penalty. Uh, I'm assuming that that's what he, I'm assuming that the death penalty is uh, a thing in Oregon because he's talking about he's going to pursue it, uh, thinking about pursuing it as a hate crime. Uh, with all those charges he already have against him, um, you know, it seems like he could be gone for a substantial amount of time anyway. So uh, I don't know. In any event, this smells very similar to the gun smoke in the George Zimmerman case when he killed Trayvon Martin. George Zimmerman started a fight, got his ass whooped, and pulled out a gun and killed Trayvon Martin and got away. So just because this dude has been arrested don't mean that he won't get away. They initially gave him a soft charge of manslaughter. The community was outraged. And as the story made its social media rounds, the pressure was put on for the prosecutor to hit him with another charge. And that's when they hit him with the murder charges. It took all of that. They say that this guy, after he shot him, they just went back right back into the bar and started drinking and whatever, like it was nothing, drinking and talking, like it was nothing. And, you know, you can see where that type of arrogance would come from. You know, America has a history of denigrating, prosecuting, and lynching black men. As the prosecutor, John Hummel, uh, admitted. And yeah, you know, that's the history. Now, He's saying that although he's waiting on the evidence to come back, or uh, not evidence, but the investigation to conclude about the hate crime, it does, he's not saying that dude had a right to kill the kid, period. Sounds like the prosecutor is saying that he feels like this murder, this was murder, and this was not a situation where this was a self-defense or anything, uh, you know, a stand your ground or whatever. This dude is like, hey, they got into a scuffle 
And then there was some some talking back and forth. And then dude pulled his gun and shot him. Now, he might he may would have he may have had some type of defense if he had shot him in the act while they was fighting. He pulled out his gun and shot him. You know, depending on who threw the first lick, then, you know. Be, I mean, it's, it's up for grabs, man. It's America, man. You know how it is, man. Everything's bought and sold. You know what I'm saying? Bought, sold, paid for, whatever. You know, hey, you know how it go. It's America. Good old America. Y'all think dude is going to get convicted? Think he'll get convicted? If so, what type of time you think they'll give him? What type of sentence? If they hit him with a, what is it? A hate crime. That could be serious. In any event, this is a serious case and this is something that has happened way too often. You know, it's not going to change anything, but I don't see why he complimented the dudes girlfriend in the first place. She ain't keep No more talk. What the haters talking about?